Today I am going to change the brake lines on my car, install these braided stainless steel ones and also flush the brake or bleed the system. For this I will need some basic tools, uh, some uh, braided brake lines, uh, the custom made brake bleeder and also the brake fluid. This is genuine Mercedes brake fluid from the dealer here. This is Dodge 4. Uh, you can see the part number on the bottle. So guys, uh, now I will start from the rear and then move forward to the front and show you detail every step I will do for this job. So my friends, before to start the job, I want to show you my custom made brake leader. Here you can see it. Uh, these are uh, two tubes which are connected to each other with this non-return valve, which is made by Febby made in Germany. This allows me to push the brake fluid from the car but not to suck air. This valve uh, works only one side. Uh, here you can see also I have some bottle. I will put this uh, tube inside the bottle. If anything will be sucked in the system it will not be air. It will be uh, the old brake fluid but I think everything will be ok in this case. Here you can see how this non-return valve uh, looks, uh, I uh, bought it for 10 euros and I think it is worth of investment. Uh, this uh, custom made brake pleader uh, works very well. Uh, you can see it uh, in the next uh, steps uh, I will do here. My friends, we must uh, start the job from rear uh, right brake line. Here it is the attachment. I will remove it from the chassis and also I will remove it from the caliper. Uh, to remove uh, this brake line, uh, you can use flare nut wrench, which will not uh, allow you to damage the uh, fasteners here. Also, if your bolts are in good condition, you can use some regular open end wrench. So, my friends, I have removed the old brake line from my car. It was very easy. Here you can see the brake fluid is dripping. Uh, place some container under the car. Uh, and now I will uh, mount the new stainless steel brake line. First I will mount it on the caliper and then I will uh, install it uh, on the car. So guys, the new brake uh, linings installed here. You can see it. Uh, I secured it, uh, tightened the bolts on the car and on the caliper and now it's time to get ready and bleed the system. I will start the bleeding, bleeding uh, from this uh, caliper. This is a rear uh, passenger side and then move to the uh, rear uh, driver side. Before to uh, start leading the brakes, I will remove the old brake foot from the reservoir with this big suction gun and then add some new fresh brake foot and uh, push it uh, in the system uh, to bleed the brakes and stay new food inside the system. So my friends, now let's bleed the system. This is a rear passenger side. Now I opened the valve on the brake caliper and you can see that old fluid is uh, moving out from the system. My friend is inside the car and he uh, pushes the brake uh, and here you can see how this non-return valve works. It uh, allows fluid to uh, be removed from the car but uh, it also uh, protects the system from sucking any air. Uh, that's why I like it very much. Uh, be sure that uh, brake reservoir is not empty, not to suck any air and push the brakes 10 or 15 times, it will enough. Uh, as I have already mentioned, uh, uh, it is uh, better to use flare nut wrench here. Uh, the attachment point on the car uh, is secured by 11 mm fastener and uh, on the caliper it is secured by um, 14 mm uh,
So guys, once again, uh, I am showing you detail what you have to remove. Mm, first of all, remove uh, this brake line from the car itself. Use 11 mm flare, flare nut wrench here. And then uh, you will be able to remove uh, this uh, tube from the uh, caliper. Uh, here you can use 40 mm a flare nut wrench or regular open end wrench, but I recommend to use flare nut wrench not to damage and round any fastener. Here is my flare nut wrench. Uh, now I am removing the brake tube from the uh, car itself. It was very easy because I used some penetrating oil here and uh, I have no rusted fasteners on my car. That's why everything uh, is removable very, very easy and uh, this is very good. Now I am using some uh, open end wrench to uh, speed up the process itself and um, uh, remove this brake line or brake tube fast. So my friends, now let's remove the brake line from the caliper and finally make it free. Uh, for this I am using 40 mm flare nut wrench here. The area is restricted, but if you be gently and careful, everything will be ok. After uh, I made it uh, loosen or loose, now I am removing it with the regular 40 mm open end wrench to speed up the process and also make the job faster. The old tube is removed from the car. Here you can see how it looks. Uh, nothing was wrong with it, but I had chance to pick some braided brake lines and what, why not to do this? I think this is great upgrade for my brake, brake system. Also, for this reason, I have to bleed the brakes and this is also a good decision. Now the brake fluid is dripping out from the car. Here you can see, put some container under it and continue your job. So after removing uh, the old brake tube, I have installed the new one. The process is very, very easy. Uh, just be very careful not to damage any threads on the car itself and on the brake caliper itself and you will be able to put a new brake line on your W210 without any efforts. So my friends, after installation of the new braided brake line, now it is time to lead the system. For this, you must open this wind uh, valve here on the brake caliper. Use I am using now uh, 6 point quarter inch 40 mm socket not to damage any corners on the fasteners and after crack loose it uh, I will uh, use uh, some open end wrench uh, and uh, bleed the system very very um, carefully uh, I am now also uh, using uh, the brake bleeder as I used on the rear and also showed you. Here it is, my custom made one with non returning, returning valve uh, on the middle. Uh, now let's put one tube uh, into the brake valve. Uh, you can zip tie it uh, for the secure fit. Uh, I will do following, of course, and then you must put uh, the other side of the bleeder into the container, uh, which is uh, with the brake fluid on the bottom uh, not to allow the system to suck any air inside but uh, as I know this brake uh, bleeder and non-returning valve will allow me to push the brake fluid from the car and not to suck anything in the system but who knows it is better to do such as I am uh, doing now. And guys, let's now start bleeding the front uh, passenger uh, brake caliper. Uh, for this, I am now um, uh, opening the 
valve on the caliper and my friend inside the car which will push the brakes several times and you can see that uh, brake foot with the bubbles and airs which were sucked in the system when I removed the old uh, brake house uh, is moving uh, from the car uh, outside into the container and nothing is sucked inside so uh, once again uh, about 10 or 50 uh, pushes on the brake I think will be enough in this situation but uh, make sure that you uh, will not empty the brake container uh, on inside the um, hood of your car because if the container container uh, will empty then your uh, car will suck the air from container and uh, this is not what we want in this case otherwise this system works very well this is very easy to make um, once again i will uh, write down the um, part number of this febby non-returning valve and anyone uh, can uh, make uh, uh, such type of brake bleeding system and break the, and blade and bleed the brakes uh, yourself. Uh, this is very very uh, easy method. Uh, after uh, the uh, brake pedal is uh, stiff and also you will not see any bubbles uh, on the tube itself. Uh, you have to um, close the valve here and uh, here we are your uh, brakes are uh, bleed and uh, there is no air inside the uh, system so my friends this was a short video about uh, brake houses replacement and brake system bleeding if you like it please thumbs up thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and catch you in the next videos Goodbye.